is it safe to treat a patient in their own home? Of course, the other big area to consider at the moment is the coronavirus and whether you're compliant with those or COVID secure is the term. I think it's very hard to do in people's homes and it might not be the right time to do it until things are more settled. So these are clinicians who do home visits for their patients. Um, and obviously there are benefits to the patient in terms of convenience, but there's a lot of complexity for healthcare professionals to think about. Now, my background is general practice and I do home visits as a GP. And sometimes, you know, I know district nurses who will do little procedures in, in people's homes. You can even have IV antibiotics done in people's homes. Mm -hmm. So it is absolutely possible to do medical practice in people's homes. It's already done around the world. The, there is obviously the question of which is better and what are the factors you need to take into account in, in that situation. One of the factors I've long considered as difficult for me, particularly treating a cohort mainly of women, is um, I wouldn't really feel that comfortable treating by myself, being in a woman's bedroom, doing an injection, which is the kind of thing that happens because the bedroom's often the obvious place to go if you're looking for someone to lie back. So I, I wouldn't be keen on that. You may be a female injector injecting other females and that maybe that dynamic isn't something to consider. But what you do then have is, is a much more chaos to handle than you would in your own clinic. So how, how are you going to reduce the risk of you know, it's things like the husband getting home because they don't want their wife to have treatment and you're trying to scrabble around and, and manage that dynamic. That can be a real issue. It could be pets, you know, the lack of cleanliness. Like some, some people, people live in different ways. Some people's homes are really dirty and you need to think about how you're going to keep your patients safe if you don't feel like the environment is safe enough. Um, the work surface is probably a huge area for, for, of contention. You, you need to be able to set up, I think, a surface where your patient is in a in a controlled position, trying to do it on beds or on sofas is is a big no. I, I think it's risky. I think you're less likely to get a good result, and complications will be more common. Um, there's also the dynamic between the patient and the clinician, which is really we we need a degree of what's the word like gravitas. And if if it's seen, I think some people make their treatments too accessible and too friendly, and there's there's a lack of which you do want that. You want friendliness and accessibility, but it's a serious thing that you're doing. So making it too lighthearted and I'll pop around and you can be having a chat with your friends and I'll do your talks and it just changes the dynamic. And I think people make decisions less well. Um, it doesn't mean they're any less angry if they get a complication. And for all those reasons, there, there, are, there are certain dynamics you want to be really try hard to, to control if you're going to do home visits in, in this way. Um, I'm not someone who thinks they're an absolute no-no. I think it's for you to decide. There are pros and cons, but you should think very carefully about how you maintain that that um, the control over their over your workspace and the sense of gravitas about your treatments so that they feel serious. Uh, you might want to ask who else is going to be at home, for example, and just try and create a quiet, controlled space within that area. Um, if you're not going to work within a clinic. I think it's better if you can do that, but I understand it, the, this is different, particularly in the UK, about how people actually work.